Hello, everybody. This is your daily real estate practice exam question, and I got one that was requested from the Facebook group. They said that they saw this on the test, and Stu, could you explain it to us? So I have no problem doing it, and it's a little bit of math. So guys, let's take a look at this question. The tax assessor determined that a commercial building with a 3.5% mortgage has a market value of $400,000. If assessed, the value is 60%. So if the assessed value is 60% of the market value, and the tax rate is 63 and 1 8 mils, what is the annual tax? So let's talk about a couple of things here so that we could get this out of the way. First and foremost, what is a mill? And that's 1 1,000. So in this situation, it's 63 and 1 8 of over 1,000, okay? So we'll get into that at the end. And how you determine the annual tax is you multiply the tax rate by the assessed value. So in this question, you actually do not need that 3.5% mortgage. That is irrelevant. So first thing that you're going to do is find the assessed value. And that would be 400,000 multiplied by 0 0.60. And that is the numerical representation of 60%. Okay? So the very first thing you're going to do is find that assessed value. So now, when you find that assessed value, you're going to realize that the answer is 240,000. 240,000. And that's the assessed value. So I'm going to kind of draw a little line right over here. So that is our assessed value. So that you can see where it is in the question. Okay. So that's how we got that. Next, we have to figure out this mill rateage. Like put it into a decimal so that we could chew on it. Okay. So what I usually do is this. I divide 1 by 8. Because I want to get that into a numerical form. So I would do that, and you would get 0.125, okay? So now, the next thing that we have to do is we're going to divide 63.125 by 1,000. Now, why are we doing that, Stu? Talk to us. Talk to us through this. So. I told you a couple things. Number one, one mil was one one thousand. So 63 and one eighth mil would be 63 and one eighth over a thousand. And again, I don't want a fraction over a fraction because I don't want to deal with that. I want to divide it right here just so I get a decimal so that I know that I'm working with a number. Okay. And that's how I got the 63.125 and then I divided it by a thousand because again one mil is one one thousand so 63 and one eighth mils would be 63.125 divided by 1000 and that number that you would get would be this number point zero six three one two five and then all you do is multiply that by our assessed value and you should get the correct answer so what we do is we basically take from both sides we take the tax the the millage that we worked on over here and then we multiply it by the assessed value that we worked on here and we will come up with the answer of $15,150.50. Okay. So, guys, I hope you like this question. If you do, again, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'm going to see you back here real soon.